About nine weeks ago, I made a video about propagating fig trees and I illustrated four different methods. I've left them a little too long while I was busy with other video projects, but now it's time to do the promised follow-up and review how these have got on. So here we are looking at exactly the same cuttings in exactly the same order. We'll deal with the first three in the bottles before we look at the cuttings in the newspaper and bag. Taking the cutting in the green bottle first, we can see this has done really well. There are some small roots developing and there are two significant branches which have sprouted inside the bottle, which is a bit of a surprise, but this is enough for me to decide that I'll need to cut the bottle to preserve these branches when I'm potting this up. So it's time to use a pair of scissors. This cutting I'm happy to call a significant success. It's easy to pot up and all the successful cuttings will be potted up into this one large bucket. Moving on to the second bottle and as I predicted this has indeed rooted along the entire length of the cutting. There is also a small bud here, however it's in the wrong place. I could plant the cutting upside down and I have done cuttings like this in the past. It's not of any consequence to do this. The fig tree will always right itself and grow normally. It's just that it'll have an odd base. However, this cutting is so young and will grow new buds, so I'm just going to bury this bud and keep this cutting right side up. This makes two successes out of two. The third bottle was simply left open. This cutting hasn't done very much. I'm a bit disappointed with this. There is still a chance this could go on to grow successfully as the root nodes are just appearing, so I'll just go ahead and plant this as well. Lastly, it's time to open the bag with the two cuttings wrapped in wet newspaper. Here's the first one. As I mentioned earlier, I did leave these a little too long and here a piece of growth fell off. However, there is a good set of well-developed roots here. The top growth of branches are again a surprise and are this pale colour because they have not been exposed to light. They'll turn more green in the coming days. This one is a superb success. And now for the last one, and the roots are stuck to the newspaper. This has produced spectacular roots. This is also a superb success. All that remains is to complete the potting up of these and to take them outside and water them.
I look forward to seeing these grow into full-sized trees in the coming years. And thanks to my friend for giving me these cuttings in March. Thanks for watching. See you next time.